What's going on guys here at 11 a great day today and today we are back once again at the end of the month talking about everything I picked up whether those be Blu-rays, uh, Funko Pops, video games and just general collectibles, all the anime and gaming goodness you guys like to see on the channel. So I actually didn't pick up all that many Blu-rays this month, I picked up one and uh, I'll show that off first and that is Darling in the Franks uh, Season 1 on uh, Steelbook. Now. Uh, the price was right on this, I think it had about like 30% off and, you know, the series is on Funimation, I haven't even seen it yet so I don't really know why I picked up the Steelbook, but the main reason was because it's a nice Steelbook and uh, it's mecha, it kind of looks cool, I've heard like mixed things about it, I know a lot of people really like it, a lot of people say it's one of the worst things ever, so um, I'll be interested to see where I stand on it, but I'll, I'll quickly show off the Steelbook actually, because I really like this Steelbook, not just the Steelbook itself, but the discs inside are also really nice, so on the front... You have, uh, I, I believe is his name like Hero or something like that. Um, yeah, Hero, uh, also known as what's Zero Sixteen, I believe is the number. And then on the back you have Zero Two, who is kind of like I, I'd say the face of the series, like one of those characters that people know the look of. Uh, obviously, really good characters and all that kind of stuff. But it's really the inside and the discs that I love. So if you can kind of see, they are like a holographic uh, with kind of like. Um, what's the, like virus kind of lines uh technical circuitry kind of stuff in it it's really cool um I, I really just love the disc design it's pretty simplistic but the holographic look just is really really cool and uh yeah i really dig it i'm excited to get into it um as and when i do get around to watching it uh so i have a few video games but before i get into that i, I want to show this off first so i don't think i picked this print up this month i think it was last month but i'll kind of move back a bit so you guys can see but i got it framed and this is kind of like a print of a bunch of uh, Japanese media, mainly anime and video games. Um, yeah, it's, it's just basically entirely anime and video games. Like you can see kind of at the top, got uh, Ava Unit 1 here. I think Godzilla's somewhere over here or something. Uh, you got like Attack on Titan stuff. You got Digimon, you got Dragon Ball, you got Naruto, Cowboy Bebop, uh, Sensei, uh, Doraemon, Sailor Moon. Uh, Sonic, I can see, Pokemon, that all like Japanese video games, Japanese um, anime, manga, just Japanese media in general, uh, is all on there, and uh, it's a really cool print that I like, and uh, I will definitely be putting it on my wall uh, soon, because I'm going to be redoing a lot of stuff, I've got some other posters uh, on the way, and I'll throw up a picture right now, um, it's not really anime and gaming related, but... Uh, I do have like an A1 sized poster of The Empire Strikes Back, which is my favourite film of all time. And uh, yeah, I'll throw a picture on screen so you guys can see. It looks really cool. Of course, I'm not going to bring it on camera because it's like twice, maybe even three times the size of what I just showed off. And I could barely fit that on camera. But anyway, on to the next things. We've got uh, quite a few video games that I picked up. None of them are new releases, but uh, if you watched recently and if you haven't watched it, I did upload my video game collection for 2022. All three of these games were included in there. First up, we've got Sonic Mania Plus for the PlayStation 4. Uh, of course, like this is the remastered uh, remake type thing they did of like a lot of the classic Sonic games. So it's the traditional 2D pixel Sonic. Um, you know, got extra things like new stages uh, I can see on the back, new characters. Uh, there's like a four player co op mode you can do. Obviously, the graphics are up and everything like that. It's sort of like a remake um, slash bring in. Uh, classic 2D Sonic to the modern age, and uh, I've not gotten around to it yet, as you can see, it is still in the shrink wrap, but uh, I'll definitely play it at some point soon, and you know, it's kind of one that I've eyed for a while, and it was a decent price, so I picked it up. Next up, we've got Override 2, uh, Super Mech League Ultraman Deluxe Edition. Uh, as I mentioned in my video game collection video, uh, the only reason I really picked this up is for the Ultraman stuff, but it kind of looks like a fun, um, like, mecha showdown brawl type thing it looks like fun i think it'll be like um an enjoyable enough like past time i guess you could say i don't really know um no idea how much i'll play it but uh i'm excited to get into it i think it'll be a good bit of fun uh but the last video game if it's up was hades heard some great things about heard like great recommendations from people and all that kind of stuff and of course i, I did it win game of the year last year or 2020 when whenever it came out i, I think it won game of the year or it was like it won a lot. I remember it won a lot of awards, and uh, it's kind of like that indie game that went under the radar to a degree, but everyone that played it loved it, and it got like a lot of recognition from, like I guess, the higher-ups in the industry. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to get into it. Um, I know it is a, uh, what's the word for it? It begins with an R. I, I, f I forgot the name, but it's one of those games where when you die, I think you have to start from the beginning or something like that. Um, it's like Returnal recently. I I've completely forgot the name of the genre, but it's, it's that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, I'm, oh, there we go, roguelike. That's it. It's a roguelike. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to test out that game, see how it is. Uh, roguelikes generally aren't my thing, especially Returnal. I I think that game's a good game, but I just didn't really enjoy it personally. Uh, but I think that's one of those. This is one of those games that maybe I'll enjoy, especially if the combat's really good. But by lots of it, it is really good. So I guess I'll move on to this one manga box set that I picked up, which I did do an unboxing of, which uh, you guys can see if you want to see the whole thing and all its glory and a bit more of a better display of everything that is here. But that is the Seven Deadly Sins Volume 1 through 7 manga box set. As I said, I did an unboxing of this. You can check it out to see everything. But I'll just quickly give you guys a, a look around it. As you can see, just a really nice box set. I, I, I think in my uh, in my unboxing, I mentioned that they're not all quite lined up, so it looks a bit dodgy. But you know what? It's more about the contents inside. And um, as a big fan of the anime, I'm uh, very excited to actually read the software. I'm going to put it over to this side because I'm... As much as I got a new desk for making these videos easy, it's not really made these videos easy because I still don't have a whole lot of room. Anyway, we'll now move on to, I guess, all the Funko stuff that I picked up. All the um, collectible toy type things, which I did pick up quite a lot, as you can see. Big stack over here in the background. But I start off with a couple of Funko sodas, which I don't pick too many of these up often. And that is, first up, we got Edward from Cowboy Bebop, of course. Um... Just a great, fun character. Uh, could be really irritating, but just, like, nicely sits in the middle. Like, they, they border on being an insufferable character. But somehow, they're just so much fun and, and so likeable. And then we've got Master Chief, of course, the uh, primary antagonist, uh, primary protagonist, should I say, of the Halo series, my favourite video game franchise. Uh, and yeah, if you did not check out my... Final Fantasy, not Final Fantasy 7 tier list, it was another video. Uh, I think it was my reaction to the Nintendo Direct this month. Um, before the Nintendo Direct itself actually happened, I did unbox both of these. So if you want to see quick unboxings of them, you can go check out the start of that video. And while you're there, you might as well watch the rest of it. We'll now move on to the Funko Pops, which I picked up quite a few. So I guess we'll, we'll get the biggest one out of the way first, just so I can move it over to the side. But first up, we do have, again, from Cowboy Bebop, we've got the Battle of Fallen Angels, as they call it, but it's actually called the Battle of Fallen Angels, so Funko messed up on this, but I will be taking it out of the box to display it, so it doesn't really bother me. Uh, but yeah, this is like probably the most iconic moment, I guess, in the series from Episode 5, where we do have Vicious versus Spike, and of course it's just an iconic image of Vicious holding the sword to Spike while Spike is holding the gun. To vicious and then you've got the big uh, stained glass window in the background which uh, I really actually I, I really love this thing it, it's maybe one of the favorite my favorite Funko Pops that I own because it's just a nice little like set piece um, nicely represents just a fantastic scene and the stained glass window is obviously not glass but it's like a clear uh, plastic which does look pretty cool because you can see behind it uh, as well so I guess like you could if you sat it in front of like um, a nice like a uh, backdrop then it'd look really nice. Um, and yeah, it's a scene that I really love. And um, it's a Funko Pop that I really love. And it will definitely have a place in the collection. We'll now move on to um, all the standard size ones. Uh, I guess we'll start off with a video game one or a video game adaptation. We've got Geralt from The Witcher. Now, I haven't even watched season two yet. And I didn't love season one. I really liked it, but it had um, issues in terms of pacing and plotting and... I guess the timeline was a bit all over the place. Uh, I think that by the sounds of it, with season two, or at least like, you know, from the end of season one going into season two, I have a feeling that they have fixed that. Uh, so I'm very excited to get into season two. And of course, Carol is, um, I guess, a bit of a must have. I saw it and I do really like the figure. And of course, played by Henry Cavill, who is a, an awesome actor. Uh, so yeah, I, I just I had to pick it up. And eventually, I will get around to playing the game as well. And I'll get around to watching season two probably first. Next up, we'll now move on to the anime Funko Pops. We've got Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, one of my favourite anime series of all time. The one that I really consider my first 
technically my first was Bakugan, but that was when I was a kid and I had no idea that it was anime at the time. Uh, but in terms of getting into anime as of uh, late, this was the one that really kick-started it for my alchemist and uh, it still remains one of my favourites to this day. And Roy Mustang, uh, Roy Mustang? Roy Mustang is uh, a great character in that show. Um, I definitely need to revisit it, uh, but I also need to watch Brotherhood, so I don't know which to do first. I'll probably watch Brotherhood first and then maybe at some point revisit the original series. But either way, uh, yeah, I'm excited to be able to own that and I do own Edward and uh, Alphonse, so... Uh, now I kind of want to get like all the Full Metal Alchemist ones. I mean, there's there's like Alex Armstrong, uh, Lost I believe is an exclusive as well, uh, Winry, and I believe that Scar is supposed to be coming at some point and a bunch of other characters. They're supposed to be doing a new wave of it, uh, so I'm very excited uh, for those to eventually release. Now we move on to the last few. I guess I will, I'll start off with these two. These are ones that I actually picked up today. Uh, I guess they both go hand in hand. As you can see, both from Hunter Hunter, we have Kilwa Zoldig, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, and then Gone Freaks once again. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Now, I've not watched this series, so you're probably wondering why the hell did I pick up the Funko Pops from it? It's Future Proof in the Collection. Um, it's a series that, looking at it, I will probably enjoy, and uh, it's one that I'm going to get around to sooner rather than later. Um, I need to finish the series that I'm about to talk about here. I also need to finish Jujutsu Kaisen. Um... Dallin and Franks, as I said, like I've just picked up that steelbook, so I want to watch that. There's things that I want to watch, but Hunter Hunter is definitely like on the list. And um, in terms of big series, I guess that might be the next one uh, that I go for. And last but certainly not least, we have two figures from a series that I have only watched the first season of, so I'm not fully caught up on. One of these characters I do know, the other I have not yet uh, met within the series. We have two from My Hero Academia. First up, we've got Idro. This is like the unbreakable version of him, where his skin's rock solid and just very cool detail on this. Really, really like that figure. And then we have uh, Mirio Tagata from, I believe he was, was he introduced in season four. Might have been introduced in season three, I'm not sure, but this is a character I've not met yet. I'm aware that he was supposed to be kind of um, the person that took on the role of All Might, but then of course Deku kind of does that. So uh, there's probably a bit of rivalry between them. As I said, I haven't watched the series, but uh, I really love this Funko Pop. Um, you can't see it that well because it's got like the two plastic window bit that you know kind of encases it a bit more. But if you look on the side, it's got that nice like superhero jump thing or superhero landing. I don't know whether he's jumping or landing. I think he's jumping from the ground there. And you've got like the rock coming up. Really cool. And as you can see on the back, we have some others. I will definitely be getting the Infinite Deku with Eri. Uh, the Funko Shop exclusive, which um, you can live in the US. It kind of came and went and... I think there was a lot of problems with that launch, uh, but it is still due to come to Funko Europe store. So um, whenever that drops, I'm I'm gonna be buying it, and that's the glow in the dark version. So very excited to get that, and I I, I want to get more My Hero Academia pops. And I need to finish the series as well because from what I've seen of it, which is only season one, I really enjoyed it, and I assume it's only gonna get better. So yeah, guys, that was my entire haul for the month of February. But if you did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like as always and subscribe. If you are a fan of anime and Japanese gaming, I cover all that kind of stuff on the channel. And as I said, I do monthly hauls uh, about anime and gaming stuff. So uh, yeah, turn the notification bell to know exactly when all that stuff goes up. I'd love to hear what you guys picked up this month, so head on down to the comment section below. Let me know, was it any Funko Pops, was it any video games, was it any Blu-rays, anime, all that kind of stuff. I would love to hear it. So head on down to the comment section below and let me know. As always, thank you so much for tuning into chat today and I'll see you all in the next video.